Well, Gaff, after an excellent away win at Wigan, you've got another tough assignment this weekend. Yeah, with the, the way the fixtures fell, we knew that once the three games a week started, we had uh, the first one of those was a tough one. Obviously, Oxford, Wigan and, and now Hull in one week, we've taken care of the first two and hopefully we can take care of Hull. Yeah, I know you've spoken about it before, but on paper it's such a tough start with the games you've played. You've already played Sunderland, Fleetwood, Oxford, as you say, Wigan and now Holland, given the situation with regards to Accrington on the opening day. It's been a, a really, really tough opening to the season. Yeah, I think so. I think it's there's no easy games in this league, not anymore, in terms of um, <clears throat> the quality of the opposition has, has improved. The teams that are now coming down from the championship are getting bigger and bigger. So I think there's no easy games. So we we treat this like any other one. We go into it with confidence, belief. Um, we're playing well. We're looking solid. But we know it's going to be another tough afternoon, and we've got to make sure that we more than match what we did on Tuesday night. Yeah, with regards to Hull, um, obviously when you get relegated, you need to find a winning mentality, and they seem to have done that regardless of who they've played. They've, they've won it. They've won all, all but one of their games. Yeah, I mean, I've had it myself. Um, when you get relegated and you start the following season, you've got to make sure that you start strongly if you can. Hull have certainly done that. I fully expect them to be to be up there challenging come, come May time. Um, I think they've got some very good players. I think they've got good energy in their team. So I, I fully expect those that team to be challenging. Um, and it'll be an entertaining match, um, a good footballing game. So we knew that leading up to this week, in terms of the games we, we were playing, Oxford, Wigan and now Hull, technical teams, we knew there were certain things that we had to do very well and we'll have to continue that on Saturday. But I'm, I've been absolutely delighted with the players, their, their mentality, their focus, you know, their desire to win games has been, has been fantastic. And when you set that in pre-season, obviously part of the... Um Preparations for this season is all about fitness geared towards these games that are coming thick and fast at this moment in time. And what you can do on the training ground is probably limited at the moment because of that, um, you know, pulsating game, 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 game. Yeah, but you know, there's a lot more Tuesday nights than normal because of, for obvious reasons. Uh, but we've got to also maintain that the players are looking good, they're looking fresh. Um, I think it can become a, a, a mentality thing as opposed to a physical thing. If we get any signs that players are, are perhaps showing indications that there could possibly be something wrong with muscles and things, then they, they won't be playing. It's as simple as that. I've got a squad for a reason and a good squad. So we won't be risking anyone. Um, so if I feel there needs to be rotation because of that, um, the players have got to be honest with us. Uh, we do trust one another and that's an important factor, isn't it? So all that, if you put that all into place, then surely uh, hopefully we wouldn't have s certain issues that you know muscle tears and all that. Of course, you can get them in games and, and things. There's signs sometimes you don't get, but certainly at this stage of the season, I said to the players on Tuesday, there's no need to be thinking you're tired. That's only a, a mentality thing. They, they look fresh. The, the distances we covered on Tuesday night was the most we've covered. So yeah, there's no there's no problem with that for me. Yeah, and as you mentioned there, it's about honesty with players, isn't it? Particularly in a season like this, because. You know, if you're playing 80% fitness, that could easily go down quite quickly, and you could be out for a lot longer period of time if you haven't, you know, been, been honest and said, "Look, I'm struggling a little bit." That's what you need as a manager. Yeah, look, we're only about 20% into the season. Mm. It's got so much more to go. Uh, it can seem perhaps we've played more games because we've been back maybe longer, or because because just where we are in the time, the time of year. But we were only 20%. And this is still early days. Still very very early in the season. Um, but we have to say we've started well in terms of one, the opposition, and two, the, the, the way the players are, are, are going into every game with belief and the mentality of, of winning games. Yeah, you mentioned the word desire <coughs> in Tuesday night, and, and it's even more prominent, particularly when there's no fans, because as you say, you, know, you can easily drop off of that, but on Tuesday night they're, they're putting everything on the line. Absolutely, and it was great to see. There's different ways of winning games of football. Um, and a great basis to have clean sheets. We've done that in the last three games. Um, funnily enough, we're going in against Hull, who've only conceded in one game. Um, they have clean sheets in every other one. So, yeah, I think it'll be a tighter fitter on Saturday. Um, 
but we've got to maintain what we're doing and hopefully improve on the things that we need to improve on because there are certain things even from Tuesday that if we can do a little bit better we will become a better team. Yeah. In terms of team selection, obviously Dan Butler only came out of the pitch because of the preparation in terms of making sure you had 11 players on the pitch. Obviously Nard did well, so that just shows what the competition is in all areas. Oh, there, there's good competition in, 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 in the, every place in the, in, in the pitch. You know, we've got Broomey come on for Sammy, you know, you've got Moore that can come on for John, or you've got um, ones that are not even in the squad, you know, you've got people like Burroughs and Cano and Fraser like Tracy, and, you know, so we've got we've got plenty of options there. Um, we've got four central midfield players, we've got, uh, I could go on and on, we've got a good squad, we've got a young, fairly young squad, but no, they're a good group that work well together in terms of they all want the same thing, which is very, very, very important. Yeah. Woody obviously had a bit driven on Tuesday, yeah, has he? He had, sorry? Wardy had a bit of treatment on, on Tuesday's game. No, he's just fine. fine. Yeah. Just fine. He's playing very well and he's in a good place. No other problems? No, not at the moment.